You are watching the 2016 SCAC Track and Field Media Days. I'm joined now from Southwestern University. Head coach Francie LaRose Smith, Brianna Tamorian, a junior, and junior Kyle uh, Bounder Schmidt. Uh, guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Coach, I'll start with you. Uh, here at this point in the season, I, I know you guys are a little bit ways away from, from your first meet, but uh, at this point in the season, what is your expectation uh, for this team moving forward? Well, the team's looking good. We still have some work to do. I think one thing that's really exciting about our program this year is the addition of a coaching staff. We've added a full-time uh, uh, person to help me with cross-country and track and field in Matt Buhorn. And we also have a sprint specialist who sprints, jumps, and hurdles specialist who is a volunteer coach who is excellent, comes to us with a lot of coaching experience, and she's working with our sprinters, jumpers, and hurdlers, and that's co Coach Jackie Richards. And then, of course, we have returning uh, Kenneth Ebo as our uh, throws coach. So we really have a s much stronger coaching staff to work with the kids this year. And moving forward towards that first meet, uh, what's going to be the primary areas of, of preparation? What's going to be the focus uh, before that first meet? Well, right now we're in our kind of our prep base prep phase for the season. Um, we're some the distance kids are probably going to run an event down, whereas the the sprinters will probably run an event up. So mm -hmm. um, that's probably what we're going to be doing this first meet. Brianna, how are you feeling about the upcoming season, and what's what's an event that you're really looking forward to? Um, I'm excited for the upcoming season. I'm looking forward to doing the 1500. Um, cross country is fun with the long distance and stuff, but I'm really looking forward to running faster and um, being in more of a fast-paced sort of competitive environment with track. So I'm excited for that. Kyle, same question for you. You know, how are you feeling about the upcoming year and, and on the men's team as well? How do you think the team is feeling overall? Um, I think we're doing pretty good this year. I'm really excited to work with Coach Richard. She's a good coach and she knows what she's talking about. So I can see, uh, for example, our sprinting events are going to be a lot better just because our sprinting form is so much better. And so I'd say the event that I'm most looking forward to is the 4x1 relay because our form is better and our technique as a team is looking better as well. So definitely excited for that. Brianna, what is an event that you have a lot of confidence in uh, moving forward? I mean, obviously you ran cross country as well, very successful in, in that sport, but what is an event that you, you know, you're very, very confident in every time you go into it? Well, I'm confident in the 1500, but um, because that's what I ran last year in conference and that's what I mainly focused on, um, so... I don't know. I'm. I may want to try the eight or maybe even the five k, um, just to mix it up and for different sort of training um, perks for going longer and shorter. That would then help me have more confidence in the fifteen hundred. Yeah. It was pretty interesting last year. Brianna had a an aha moment with the fifteen hundred. Yeah. <laughs> she and I both looked at each other and we knew she found her race. Yeah. But she is willing to experiment with the shorter and the longer this year. So, and I think that that again, as she mentioned, will help her um, performance in the fifteen hundred. So, coach, where do you see this? You know, what do you think are going to be your strongest events this year moving forward? Um, you know, you mentioned that. Brianna was, was solid there in the 1500, but what overall, what do you think are going to be really strong events for this team? Well, throws have always been strong for us. I think, needless to say, uh, Brianna is a very uh, one of our strongest competitors. I think our sprint group is really going to surprise some people this year. Our sprints, jumps, and uh, hurdles will surprise people this year. And Kyle, uh, you mentioned the 4 by ones an event that you're really looking forward to, and Coach just kind of alluded to the sprints being being strong. Um, is that the event that you would say you have the most confidence in, or, or is there another event that, that every time you get ready to run, um, you know, you just your, your confidence level is pretty high on it? Uh, I mean, I'm confident in that event, but I think the one that I have the most confidence in is the 200, just because, you know, it's a generally easy race. It's pretty forgiving as well. Um, the 4 by one can be very difficult. If your team isn't on point, then, you know, you could, like, lose a second or two. But 
the 200 is always going to be there as like a, an easy race to go out and do very well in. So I'd say the 200 would be like my most confident race. And coach, last question for you here, and it'll be it'll be kind of twofold. And a lot of coaches, when I ask this question, they really don't like it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So, give me uh, give me one word to describe both of these teams. Maybe one word for the men's side and one word for the women's side. You know, it's interesting that you ask for one for each team because we train together, mm -hmm. and I would say the greatest strength of this team this year is cohesiveness. This has been such an incredibly great year uh, of training with the sprint group. They've come together. They they do everything together. Even even the throwers, the whole team warms up. The distance runners are kind of off by themselves a little bit, but the sprint group, jumps, throwers all work all do their warm ups together before they go off into their individual groups. And so I would say cohesiveness. They have fun. All right, head coach Francie LaRose Smith, Brianna Tamorian, and Kyle Bauernschmidt from Southwestern University. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Good luck moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.